Flo, and welcome back to another episode of Hashtag Friday Sews. Um, I want to thank Jen in Today in Jen's Sewing Room who started the Hashtag Friday Sews. And I'm sorry I haven't been here for a while. I just got back from my vacation, and I'll insert some vacation pictures in a little bit. Um, I figured at first I'll talk about sewing stuff. I did make a few things before I left. I think in my last video I showed the green swim top that I made. Well, I also made um, these. They're just, I think this material is like an ITY. Um, it's the Urban Legs from Elia Mac. I just made them into shorts. So they're kind of that slinky like the top is. And I just sewed elastic in there on the waist. So they were really comfortable and they held up. And so that was really easy to do. And let's see. I think y'all might remember this material last time. I was thinking about making this into one of those Ugly Naked Guy bags. Um, I decided I didn't have a place to put my uh, toothpaste and toothbrush. So... I didn't use a pattern, I just quickly sewed this up, you know, the regular zipper bag, but I lined it with a clear tinted vinyl that I got from my, my punk broidery, which by the way, if you are not aware, they're having their big sale today, and I think there's, I think it's still going on till three, so if the video goes up in time, you can save 30% with their code on their Facebook group. So, I'm an enabler. But anyways, this worked out really good. I had also forgot when I was out that I put my sunblock in there. So, I didn't use my sunblock the whole time I was there. So, that was that. And I believe I showed y'all last time my bag. This one was my Ugly Naked Guy bag from Sincerely Jen Patterns, and I put a slip pocket on the outside for mine, which this bag turned out really nice, and I really do like it. Um, the bag I made for my sister, I will insert here, and at the end, if I can't try to merge the video in, I will have it at the end of the um, clip, so you'll be able to see my sister, one of my sisters. I have two sisters and a brother, and I am the, my brother's the oldest, and I'm the oldest sister. So, my sister Michelle is the one in the video, and then I have a baby sister, Sherry, and she's not really a baby, but we always call her that. So, anyways, um... She really did like her bag, and it was really pretty simple to do. I made it like this, although on one side I used the um, Captain Marvel. Hello, and welcome back to Sew April. Today I have one of my sisters. Yay! This is Michelle, and I am at her house for my vacation, and she's the one I made up my bag, this bag for. So, she has not seen it, and we're going to get first reaction. Okay. I'm going to psych you out. So. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. That's not the best part. Oh, no. This is why I have the strap dual. Oh, <laughs> yay. I thought you would love it. Oh, and it says mm -hmm. I love this. Oh, stuff on the double Oh my gosh. Saturn, my favorite planet of all, out of all the planets. And the inline pocket oh, kind of messed up, so oh, I put it. vinyl over it. Oh, I love it though. This got a lot of room. I forgot some covers. It does have a lot. But it's Big. This is this is great. I'm going so. to wear this to work, y'all. And it's adjustable strap. What? 
Because you yeah. said you wanted a crossbody bag yes, and all that. I do. I know it's kind of big for crossbody, but... No. Are you kidding me? You should see I thought, what I do with my other... <laughs> Have you seen my Snow White purse that someone made me? Yes. I love it. Oh, this is beautiful. Thank you. You're welcome. That's why I had to show you the other side because she loves Captain Marvel. So I, I used my brother's scan and cut to actually cut that out. That's amazing. I used it as an SVG. So yeah, I love it. And then when I sewed it together, I, I don't have my phone near me. I tried to go around it another time. I thought it would look cool to have a like a echo of it. Mm -hmm. Well, I was going to do that because I messed up on a piece, but. It ended up looking horrible, and I was like, oh god, I really don't like that. And then, I didn't save room to add the zipper, so I had to make a whole other one. Oh. Yeah, and I had to make it down far enough to where the zipper wasn't going to get caught in the gold. So, that is beautiful. It doesn't have purse feet, but it doesn't. No, it's it doesn't. No, it's it's more like a bobo type of bag. But it's got right? glitter vinyl. Let me put it up to the camera. Oh. It's got glitter vinyl on it. Uh, I'm always backwards with things. But that's why I did the sneak peek of the strap on um, Instagram. I saw Because I thought she knows I'm, I will possibly do Snow White or mm -hmm. maybe possibly a Marvel at some point because you had said you wanted that. I did. But did, yes, um, you were expecting lunch. if I did something like that, it was going to be on the other type of bag. Absolutely. And I thought, oh, well, I'll try it on this one. Yes. Well, I wanted so. Box Lunch had a Captain Marvel bag, and I missed out on it. Hot Topic also has had two different types. One was too tiny, more for like a little little kid, even though I and you like big bags, and I like big bags. You cannot lie. <laughs> so this is amazing. I love it. I will use it always until I break the straps because I'm really luckily good at not. Straps. I put extra stuff here. You can yeah. build. Yes, I can. And I you know me. double stitched. You know My me. industrial machine did fantastic on that. And I, got I, I think these lines are really straight. So, woohoo! <laughs> yeah. I love it. Aww, I love it. Mom's so like, love you. You. She's amazing. <laughs> uh, well, we're going to go ahead and get off here so we can enjoy spending time with each other. I will catch y'all next time. Bye. Okay, so with hers, I used my brother's scan and cut. And I got a design off of Etsy with an SVG for Captain Marvel. And this was the first attempt. I say that because if you notice, okay, well, I did mess up a little. And so I tried to do another outline in the stars. And it didn't really look right. And I wasn't happy with it. But the main thing is there's no room to have a zipper. I would have lost so much of the design and it would have been really hard and bulky to try to get all this vinyl into the zipper so I just went ahead and redid it so that happens to me sometimes but it was fine so there's that and then the stitch bag I made oh I got a hair I had a yard of fabric and this is what I have left like I used a lot of it the bag I made was the medium size Tribbiani Traveler from Sincerely Jen and these were the first time that I had first times time that I had ever made any of her patterns and if you remember, I used the rainbow thread, and this is what the bag looks like. It looked a lot better when it was stuffed full of all my stuff. So, there's the side, and remember I have the medium blue there, and it's on the strap. And then I have the stitch fabric on the inside of the strap because it's adjustable here 
and then I have the pink here and then the baby blue strap here and then of course all uh, the yellow so this turned out really cute and it's a pretty good size and then I have the there's a zipper on the inside and this is probably why I use more fabric than it says I used I made a slip pocket on the inside and I used rainbow binding how fun is that if I would have realized I had that I probably would have put it on this front pocket that would have been really cute as well but this bag held almost they had all my clothes I believe they might have not held my swimsuit but I think it held everything else and that was a lot of stuff for like five days I think I was gone so yeah that was really good and then okay I had also made these shorts before I left remember I have been saying for months that I was gonna make the uh, winter wear design racing shorts and on the on the waistband right here I did it like the yoga win yoga win yoga fan waist that it called for and I was wondering how people get like elastic up here and I don't know if it was in the instructions I think I just added it myself but where you fold the band here I put clear elastic and it really holds them up on my waist and then it has the side pockets so it's not like like how dresses have like an inseam pocket it's an actual pocket so that's really nice I did and I put a picture on Instagram I will insert that here I made crotch pockets so instead of putting the pocket piece here for the pocket pouch I had it on the inseam of the I think I need a mannequin or something on the inseam of, inseam of the pants and so I'm glad I had a lot of this gray fabric so I just cut another piece out for the front and I saved the pocket so it might be why they're just slightly a little bit weird looking you know but I mean the pockets turned out pretty good and then on the side of them this is where I was really excited to use that binding attachment this that goes on my cover stitch machine I saw a video I believe it was uh, Jeanette Wagner not 100% sure I will link her video in the description box um this does not screw in to the machine so you have to use tape i used i don't know where it is oh it's over there i used really thick duct tape i believe it is and it holds on really fine um so anyways that's how and that you can't see the black but it goes there's two, oh, can't even see. There's two rows of the black binding, and then it gets further out, and I have black on the middle, and then there's black binding here, and then there's black binding that goes all the way around the leg in the front and in the back. I know this is really horrible to try to show. Let's see if that shows it and let's see if the other side's any better okay so I do mess up like everyone else and since I was in a hurry to make these and I didn't have time to seam rip when I put this one on I don't even think you can see I put one of the bindings on inside out so through the whole leg on the front it's inside out. Let's see if you can see the 
There you go. You can see that kind of better there. So the one is, I think it's that one. It's inside out. But I was like, I want to wear these shorts. They're going to be super comfy. And they were extremely comfortable. I probably should have made them a size smaller, but with eating as much as I did, I'm really glad that I left them the size that I made them. And on my height, because I am 5'7", almost 5'8", and I did not want them short because I do not have very pretty legs. So I did make these two and a half inches longer and I believe I added the height right after the pocket where it goes. So I just added the extra height there. So they still are above my knees but they look really nice. So let's talk about binding. Okay. Now I thought, okay, I really like the way those look. And there's a pair of swim shorts. I believe it's from 504. Um, I want to say it's uh, either the Bethany or the Mice. Anyways, they're the basic kind of retro shorts that have like, you know, the white binding around like in the 70s. Everybody knows, I'm sure, what I'm talking about. Um, you know, like, like shorts that would have binding and they circle up. So this is just a sample piece that I was testing on and I thought okay I really like this binder the only problem is I hate really really hate cutting with a ruler and a rotary cutter to cut long strips of fabric I know with it being knit you really don't have to worry about the stretch of it so much for this but I thought there has to be an easier way to do this. So, I got smart and I thought, okay, what do I do when I quilt? I use my Sizzix Big Shot. If you're not familiar with that, um, it's just a cutting tool. I'll insert a picture. And with the Big Shot, you can cut, you can get the long extender, the big XL strips and you can cut long strips of fabric and that's what I do when I sew quilts. I have the, I believe it's the two and a half or three inch strip. So when I cut my fabric for quilts, I just layer up a bunch of fabric and then I run it through there and it cuts a whole bunch of strips all the same size. Perfect, no problem. I thought, okay, I wonder if there's any of them that will cut with this size. The size on this one, in between here and there, I thought it was one and a half. So I ordered the Sizzix Bigs die for the one and a half inch strips. And this is what the package looks like. And it cuts it 25 inches long, and you get three strips that will cut one and a half inches wide for each of them. I thought oh, you can you can fold up several layers, you know, like get your material and fold it and fold it and then cut that way you can get like three strips of each one. So I mean that's a lot of strips and that would be really easy to whip out to do the binding. So it's like oh that's great. You go to measure this one, and the measurement between here and there is 1.77. I was like, oh, I tried. Oh, I tried. Let's see if I can find it. And, yeah, it was right here. And it did not fold the sender. So the binding strip I have on this, the other one I had linked a long time ago, I returned it. It was a single fold and I did not like that at all. This is a double fold binding attachment and you attach it to your serger. You put the fabric, it kind of weaves through here and then you put it through here. I might do a demo someday for y'all. And then you slide it through here and then you fold it as you're going through your machine. And what it does 
is a fold your material in half like that. I don't know if you can even see what I'm doing. But it folds it like um, like a binding that you would get pre-made where it folds over and it has the nice clean edge and it folds over and you have a nice clean edge. Okay, well, like this. And then you get the back side. I, I put rainbow thread in my cover stitch because I'm obsessed with that right now. So, that did not work. The one and a half inches did not work on this binding attachment. So I was really disappointed and I thought, okay, maybe there's a binding attachment that's one and a half inches. Okay, that's really hard to find, but this company, SoLink, I will put the description in, I'll put the link in the description box below for the one that does the one and a half inch binding and I will put the link of this too. I got this on, Am on Walmart and then the binding attachment I got on Amazon. So I was basically trying to guess. This one says 13mm and then I said 45mm and I tried to Google it and look it up. From what I understood, 38 mm is what I needed, and I didn't know if it was this one or that one on the mm's. But the one I ordered was the correct size, and let's see if I can find where I did it on here where it worked. Okay, right here. So this is this the one that worked there's two rolls, well, until there's one, because my thread messed up, but there's two, and then it has a nice clean edge with the cover stitch machine on the bottom, and then one of my threads came out, but it did work, so we're going with that, that is awesome, and so now I can cut binding with whatever leftover knits I have, like, really good scrap buster because I hate getting rid of scraps and this will help me justify my long strips of them so that is really good so I'm really happy about that and maybe it can help someone else do binding too yes this is like sixty dollars and this is like thirty but in the long run it really will pay for itself okay so I think that is all I was going to talk about on like sewing related um, other than my sister gave me her fabric stash and I will have a video on that next y'all should be really proud of me I have not ordered fabric at all since I've been on vacation I do have one order from fabric mart that came in like the day or day before of my vacation so I will post that along with um, the other fabrics that she gave me and she gave me her patterns that she didn't need and I bought some patterns at um, Hobby Lobby they're simplicity are $1.99 right now and I think I got one or two quick so so I'll be posting those later now I'm going to talk about my vacation. So on my vacation, oh, I had a fun time. I had, it was just a girl's vacation. I had me, my oldest daughter, Ashley, my youngest daughter, Bridget, and my granddaughter from Ashley, Sophie. So we had such a good time. I will insert a picture of us here. And then as soon as I got to my sister, Michelle's, she lives in Houston, so it was like a six-hour trip or something like that. I'm not for sure. We ended up stopping, me and my girls ended up stopping in Grapevine, Texas. We went to the Grapevine Mills Mall, and we went to Sea Life. I don't know if I can post the pictures because it might be something I could get in trouble for, but I have a picture of us, like, outside, so I'll post that picture. And we went on a carousel ride that was really fun and then of course we we stayed the night at a hotel and my oldest daughter said that I picked a really crappy one my granddaughter even said Gigi this room is really small 
it was a comfort suite and I thought it was going to be a good deal because it said that there's a hot tub. Well, we went to the hot tub and you know how there's that ingrown pool and then usually there's like a baby pool. It was basically the baby pool and the jets weren't working. There was like one little jet that worked and it was basically hot water and my daughter said mom this is like just taking a hot bath outside and I was like oh sorry so there was that and then the next day we ended up making it to Houston to go see my sister Michelle and we had such a fun time we uh, so many things to think about I did not write any of this down oh she gave me this little Tinkerbell music box. So adorable. Love it. She knows I love Tinkerbell. It needs to be fixed on the bottom and I'm sure my husband can do that. He's really super handy. But it made it home in one piece so that's good. Um, and like I said she gave me all her fabric and her patterns and I'll have a video on that. And let's see. We went in her pool the first day and we ended up getting rained on and then that night we watched Cruella on Disney Plus and I fell asleep I don't know oh man when I get really excited about things sometimes I just fall asleep and then um, her daughter Megan made her Michelle's cookie recipe oh my god they were so good so perfect. I love her cookies so much. And then um, the next day we went to the beach at Galveston and I will insert a few pictures in here. I'm not going to overload everyone with all the pictures. Um, they're on my Facebook account and I consider them mainly private for my family but I did want to go ahead and include a few pictures to show y'all because I thought y'all might enjoy looking at some of the pictures and sites and stuff. Um, and then that night, uh, I think she ordered pizza that night. And then the next day we went to um, the park. She had a really neat merry-go-round. Like I have not been on like an adult merry-go-round ever, and that was so fun. My daughter like spun me around. Um, see then she made my sister made her famous pizza I have never had her pizza oh my god so good so good I love it it was so amazing I could eat her pizza every day it was so good and then we watched something else and for the life of me I can't even remember the name of that movie I fell asleep during that one too um oh, sorry then she was telling me that her and her daughter were singing this song, Ya Ya Ding Dong, and I was like, what? She said, you haven't seen that movie with Will Ferrell? And I was like, no, what movie? And she said, Eurovision. She said, it starts out slow, and it is a little bit weird, but it was funny, y'all. It was so funny. I was laughing. Um, of course, Will Ferrell is funny. Um, then I talked her husband into making his famous salsa. I've heard about this for years and it was really good. It did not disappoint. And, um, oh, my niece Megan used to be in, or she is in dance, but she had like all her leotards from when she was little. And so my sister Michelle had dressed my granddaughter in them and we were doing a fashion show. And she bought her a blow up uh, polka dotted Dalmatian. It was so funny. They were playing Who Let the Dogs Out song. And oh my gosh. So hilarious. And she was giving my granddaughter tips on how to do like poses and stuff. And then Megan dressed up as Mr. Potato Head. And Michelle was Scooby Doo at one point. It was, it was so fun. I really enjoyed my time with my sister and my niece and my nephew, Zach. And, yeah, me and him, when we were at the beach, it started raining, of course. And so we put a towel over our heads and 
then the rain subdued, and then um, we ended up getting, me and my sister got seashells off of the beach, so that was really fun. I really enjoyed that. Um, I'm trying to think. I feel like I'm really forgetting stuff. Uh, seems like a blur. Everything happens so fast. And let's see. I just really had fun. It was really nice to see my sister. I haven't seen her in a year and a half. So it was just a great joy. You know, after the whole COVID thing happened and you couldn't see family, it really makes you appreciate when you can see your family. And, you know, when you can hug them and spend time with them, that to me is the most enjoyable thing. So, I don't think there's anything else I really need to talk about. This video is probably not, not as bad as I thought it would be. I hope I wasn't talking too fast. I'm sorry. I'm, I just haven't been on in a while and I want to try to say everything and I don't want to forget stuff. And, you know, I really hope everyone enjoys this video. Um, please like, subscribe, um, ring the notification bell. I saw on my statistics that only like 25% of the people actually have the notification of the bell. The little bell is like right under where my name is. And if you ring that, it'll tell you whenever I post a new video. So that way you don't have to try to search for me or anything. Um, maybe I'll help someone. I also noticed that a lot of my subscribers are from Germany. And that makes my heart so happy. I had mentioned before I was a military brat. And I was actually in Germany when I was a little girl. And I remember walking to the gas station. I was probably about three I would walk by myself and I would go to the gas station to go get my little candy lippy or my candy necklace and we were of course on the base housing so my mom said it was safe. I was like how could you let me walk to the store by myself? She said it was base housing and it was in the 70's you were safe you were fine but I, I remember walking in the store and I would say guten tag which means good morning and then I would get my candy and I would say, Duncan Shane, thank you. And then as I was leaving, I'd say, Auf Wiedersehen. And I don't remember if I even gave them the right amount of change. They probably just thought I was cute and let me have the, the candy anyways. I don't know. But I remember that. And I remember that the school there was really good. I learned so much until we moved. And then we had to end up going to Oklahoma and that school we did not even have a book so I basically couldn't read from then until I moved to Texas when I was in fourth grade so yeah that's the story of a military life um, I was an army brat but anyways I don't know if I'm gonna keep that in video <sighs> anyways I hope everybody has enjoyed the video and Go check out all the other hashtag Friday Sews, and everybody enjoy your time, enjoy your summer, and have a very blessed weekend. Bye.